Hi, this is Sarah Camus with CityNet Magazine. We're currently at Comic-Con 2023 with Michael Cho. Hello. So I just want to interview you today, considering that you're a very prolific artist, and we attended your panel earlier where you're talking about starting up your graphic novels again. And, um, you know, the new emerging technology in the industry is AI, whether it be ChatGBT or MidJourney. And I kind of just want to know what your opinions are, whether they're positive or negative, on what those effects will look like on the industry. Um, my general take on any technology has always been that it's one more tool in the toolbox. So when um, uh, we made the shift, when artists like myself and all artists nowadays made the shift from traditional tools to digital tools, uh, I always viewed it as, well, this is just like changing from you know, pencils to pens or to brushes and such. It was, it was the skill of the creator that manipulates the tool. So therefore, uh, that, was the, that was the ultimate decider of quality. But with AI, um, I don't know yet whether or not that's, um, that's the case because AI is such a sh seismic shift in the technology. And uh, uh, I, I hope that it will eventually end up as a tool in the artist toolbox that they can draw from uh, to alleviate some of the, uh, the more time-consuming aspects of work. But I also have a fear that it will ultimately um, uh, render irrelevant, say, the, the decades of training and skill that an artist has to go through and, um, and, and, and replace it with something that, so that it further devalues the actual, uh, the hard work of the creator. And do you find these AI technologies something that maybe you would incorporate in your future work? I haven't, I haven't had a chance to yet because the, 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 the state of the technology doesn't have um, an element that I need. Um, uh, when we used to use, uh, when, we, when I used to draw on paper, I would draw uh, on board and I would lay down, for example, if I was doing perspective, I would lay down vanishing points and plot it. When I used Photoshop, yeah, I could plot that digitally and it would save me a lot of the hassle of doing it. But uh, I still had to know where to put the vanishing points. With AI, um, what it does for me, I don't need yet. Like, if I, I don't need it to, um, like, there's options. For example, you could use AI to uh, ideate, idea, so you can put in prompts. But I don't need that. I ideate on my own. Fine. I don't want an AI to render my artwork for me. Like, say, backgrounds, or uh, I draw the figure and it continues the figure on onto the rest of the image. I don't need that because it will never have the same instincts that I would, and I don't like the results. So. I haven't yet found a use for the AI, to be honest with you, but I do see people who, who don't have artistic skills being happy with the results of AI because, you know, um, if, I was a, uh, if I was a musician, you know, and I had a little drum machine on my phone, I'd be happy with the results of that. But as a high-end musician, they'd be going, I don't need that. That won't do anything for me. That was a great uh, little tidbit there. And I wonder, do you have any advice maybe for anyone who might be a little bit concerned about this technology emerging in the industry? Yeah, I'd say be concerned. I would be very concerned. Um, I've, I've had, uh, like I said, told you before, I've had fans tag me and with artwork they've created through Mid Journey and, and using my name as the prompt. And I was like, this is terrible artwork, but okay, thanks. You know, it doesn't do anything for me. But I've also seen um, artists, uh, so-called artists, uh, use Mid Journey and they will, they will they will be passionate about advocating for themselves as artists. They're saying, this is my tool, AI is my tool, and just like you had to go through years of training to be an artist. I have had to come up with the, the perfect prompt to generate this image. And at the same time, and so they'll devalue us, but then at the same time, those same artists will sit there and go, I will never tell you my prompt because that's proprietary to me. And I sit there when I see that, I go like, so your prompt is pri proprietary to you, but my style is not proprietary to me. You can take that whenever you want, you know? And I find that kind of um, idiocy to be concerning. Um, my closest uh, analogy to the uh, a person who uses AI to generate artwork exclusively and considers themselves an artist at this current level of the technology, at this generation of technology, is that I view it as like um, they're a DJ. You know, a, a wedding DJ plays the records. They play various records from various genres, reading the room and figuring out what people want. But you can't say they're the artist. They are not the musician. They are not the band that's on the records. They are a DJ. You know, and anybody who is using AI just to put in a prompt and then 
the, the AI software sampled all these experienced artists who put a decades into building their style, and then they, 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 this artwork is created from that written prop. That person is not an artist. They are at best a DJ that remixes all these samples. All right, guys, well, you heard that exclusive right from Michael Cho himself. And this is Sarah Camus at Comic-Con 2023, and you're watching CityNet Magazine. Thank <laughs> you.